Act 1, Scene 2, Romeo and Juliet, Take 1. As pairs exit, Capulet sends a servant, Peter, to deliver the rest of the invitations. However, Peter can't read. Just then, Romeo and Benvolio happen to walk by Peter. Benvolio is talking about Romeo's love problems and says he should find a new love, that a new infection will cure the old one. Romeo then stops the conversation with Benvolio and acknowledges the servant. Good evening, good fellow, servant replies. God, give you a good evening, I pray, sir. Can you read? Romeo then replies, I can read my own fortune and my misery. Maybe you have learned it from life and not from the books, Peter replied. Romeo said, yes, if I know the letters and the language. Peter then states that it was an honest answer and wishes him a good day. Romeo stops him and quits joking around and tells Peter to stay because he can read. Romeo then reads off the names from the letter who was invited, Rosaline being one of them. He then states that it is a good group of people and asks where they are supposed to go. My master is a great, rich Capulet. If you do not belong in the house of Montague, feel free to stop by and have a glass of wine. Have a nice day, said Peter. Benvolio then persuades Romeo to tag along at the party because Rosaline will be there, along with all the other beautiful women in Verona. Go there and compare her to the other woman there, and the lady you think is a swan will look as ugly as a crow. Romeo does not agree with that, and he states, One fairer than my love. The sun itself has never seen anyone as beautiful since the world begun. Benvolio concludes that Romeo did not have anyone to compare her to. Romeo replies, I'll go with you, not because I think you'll show me anything, but so I can see the woman I love.